Hey YouTube, what's up? This is going to be the first video about using these washing machine rotors and I've got some ideas and some plans which I'm going to show you on how I'm going to do it. So firstly I dropped this one so the weld is gone. So I'm just going to spend a few minutes setting up to do that properly. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to drill through these small holes and it'll just fit inside there and then that allows me to bolt the actual hub down as well the bottom of the bearing will be flat on this surface along with this bit but then I want to make sure there's no distortion from the welding Of course the worry always is when you've been welding the bearings that they won't move. So now I've just got to get those bolts off. So this is the video kind of from above. That's not bad. Looks pretty good. These are the bearings and collets. Collars, I don't know why I call them collets, maybe they're collets. But as you can see, I just had to sand this down so that they went on easily because I don't want to be having to bash the rotors on there, I don't want to try something out. I'm going to put these two bearings in there for now just to show you that there's going to be space in between these two magnet rotors. Okay. Right, I don't have the right amount of collars to show you right now, but where these two bearings are, in the middle, they're going to be two plate wheels, which are like chain uh, cogs, like that. Okay, and that's what's going to drive this generator. Uh, so basically what you will have on the left of the left bearing next to the magnet rotor, you'll have a spacer, and then the, the bearing shown on the left and now in the middle will actually be a large drive gear there'll be a spacer in between them and then a large, a smaller drive gear there and then a spacer Okay. the shaft will remain fixed Okay. this will remain fixed at all time and is just there to support the other stuff that's needed but to allow this to rotate 
Now, I don't know how I'm going to do it. it. It should be pretty easy, to be honest. It'll take a bit of work, but these need to be joined together. Okay, and all that in the center needs to be joined together. So this thing rotates as one unit. Yeah. That's what we want. So the stator assembly is going to be joined onto this. Okay. I'm going to have something that slips over that with arms on it. Okay, and each arm is going to have a piece of threaded bar that goes through there and is perfectly matched. So th this, this diagram is how I plan to make the stator spider arms, they're going to be called. So you'll have this made out of metal with the holes drilled at the perfect uh, desired differences. And then, yeah, it will just be welded onto this collar. I might have a collar either side, and then it can be it would be bolted onto the shaft. And then bolts will go through, and I'll set it up so that the... It will be like that. Yeah? So, each bolt... What I think I'll, I'm going to try and do is so uh, this is the front side of the stator this is going to be poking out so what i'll do is if i if we go to the reverse side and i tighten the nut up here and here tighten the nut up properly but in both those bits and then on here where the hole is for it to line up so kind of like that Remember this will be a metal plate, cut out as shown, with a hole in the center, 22mm, and then it will be welded, the metal shape will be welded to this. So yeah, that's my idea. So I've got this in the vise to give you a better view of what I'm talking about, I can show you from both sides. That's the center, uh, the bearings will be replaced with plate wheel, drive gear type things. I just want to show you that's what the other end will look like. Okay, I've got some drawings now I want to show you to explain a few things. So, this is the drawing that I did of the generator, which is how it's going to end up, what I've just shown you in the vise. Sorry, let me straighten that up a bit. So firstly, the fundamental thing to note is that these are two different colours. Okay, and the reason for that is anything in the green anything in the green is fixed okay and everything in the orange rotates okay so what's going to rotate both magnet rotors rotate and everything in between them okay that rotates around the shaft everything here and here is fixed and doesn't move that's a either side it'll have a plate coming down from the frame there and then it will have some kind of device to keep the shaft in place perfectly aligned something like this is perfect so then these both sides are the device again using one of these I just showed you that that will hold the stator in place so all that stays still and the middle section rotates round that's the plan okay that's that <coughs> Now I'll show you the side view. So it's very similar in design to my other turbine. Uh, it's the tailpipe. Uh, the fundamental difference with, with the dual rotor turbine, the motor was here at the front, but it makes a lot more sense to have the motor. So that whole generator that I showed you there is going to sit in here. Okay, there's the shaft. I haven't drawn the generator in. This is a chain which will be driven by this shaft. Okay, and on the end of this shaft is going to be some big ass blades. Okay, I'll also include the same measure for adjusting the angle of the tailpipe so that there'll be hinges here. They have to be extremely strong for this one. Hinges here that mean I can flip the whole 
deck of the turbine, including the shaft, so the shaft would then be at that angle. Also, this shaft would move, but it would all stay perpendicular to each other. Uh, yes, I'm going to have to do some extra, I'm going to need to try and make an extra heavy duty blade hub like this. These are pillow block bearings, by the way. Uh, if you're interested in this, I would go and look at some of my dual rotor wind turbine videos because you'll get a lot more of an idea of the general setup of the frame, which is very similar. But yeah, big ass blades, it'll need a 30 centimeter hub, at least six or eight mil thick, and then I'm going to weld on some arms and then there'll probably be another collar here so there'll be one big thing that will slide over with like a pyramid of uh, sort of 10 mil steel bits uh, that's just some of the parts you will require that's just to get this bit done but there's nothing to do with the frame it's just for the generator uh, that's my original drawing of it showing oh, i don't think of mentioned why the, so these two are the draw the plate gears that receive the chain from the upper uh, shaft and i'm going to have two different drive wheels so i've put one as a 20 tooth and one as a, a 36 tooth because then i'll be able to run it in different modes if there's low wind uh, i'd run it on the from the chain to the big one okay similar on a push bike if there's high wind and there's more power to be had i'll drop it onto this gear we'll get onto how i do that another time drop it into this gear and then if it's really windy, you can really take advantage of that. So this is a view from the top. The, the main things to realise is just a metal frame, which will be made out of 20 mil a box section. I'm not going to use solid stuff. I'm going to try and keep it light. Then there's a pillow block bearing at the back. There's a pillow block bearing at the front. They're centrally aligned. That, that, once these are done properly, that takes care of a lot of things. Uh, the tail pipe underneath there perfectly centered again and then the blades on the front here it will be approximately i'm guessing three foot then sort of by 12 or 10 inches it doesn't make any sense to have it huge just for the sake of it uh, so yeah that's the frame that's the drive wheel on the shaft and yeah that's it but one final point is that i'm gonna have to source a new stator because one of the stators is made from aluminium wire this one and this one is made out of copper and I need another copper one really I'm still going to do some experiments on rewiring this and playing about with it but for now I just want another copper one so I've got to stump up the money and buy another copper one I'm going to put a link uh, to my PayPal in the bottom of the video running along the whole time and that'll just say if anyone wants to make a five or ten dollar donation because yeah I do need to buy a few bits so yeah if you want to make a five or ten dollar donation I'll put my PayPal and then I can get this pro this uh, project done a lot quicker because some of the, the the like plate wheels there's 40 30 or 40 quid there I've got the motors the support brackets I just have to make I've got the steel shaft uh, mounting plates so I can make the collars I need some more of them they're about two quid each so I need 20 quid worth of them uh, and I don't need any more bearings for now so that's the plan get this knocked up and then uh, yeah we'll take it from there but it's definitely going to be good you want to be subscribed for this one peace hello what I haven't really discussed as of yet is if this is any good uh, for theoretically a vertical wind turbine and I'm not sure if it is if I'm totally honest uh, obviously there's a lot of work to do on it yet but I'm just going to show you how you would sit how it would theoretically sit on the shaft so one stator would be fixed here at the bottom okay I'm just going to put it back in the rotor for now to make it easier out so that would go on there like that you know there's a uh, 22 mil collar keeping it where it's supposed to be so that's that uh, the shaft obviously again is fixed that's the whole idea so that would go on there and then what you would have is a spacer then one plate wheel yeah that's all oily from drilling one of those uh, without the big bottom bit you can get them like that so yeah it would be a spacer then this then another spacer then a different size one of these and then another spacer same as it is in the drawing because I don't have the plate wheels that's why I'm showing you with these things 
and then the other generator would go on the top. Hello, my name's Mr. Bolt. No, it's not, it's Mr. Rod. Hello, Mr. Rod. He's put some bolts on to act as spacers. I'm just going to try and show you what I mean. That will feel like that. And I'm hoping when they rotate that it looks quite good and there's not much deviation. What we're looking for is any movement in here. A tiny bit, but it's not too bad. Good luck. That looks sick. 